it was great. You know what I'm saying? Just to be able to come back and uh, to to come back with a, a meaningful purpose, like on this whole radical readers program and educating the, the young people on how important it is to read more. It, it feels great. I mean. When I was approached by um, Merlin State Education Association about the Radical Readers Program, when they said that it focused on educating middle school students, I was like, I can't shoot it nowhere else but my middle school. I think they really did take hold to that message. And you can see the high energy and excitement. Yeah. I was reading their <laughs> lips as they were reciting the lyrics, and they were really, really into it. You know, being in this entertainment industry, you know, it's not just about music with me, it's not about the, how many movies I've done, or I got a book out too, you know, it's called The Truth You Can't Betray, talking about my life coming up from a young age as a dancer all the way up to the first season of The Wild, but it's the, you know, certain trials and tribulations that I had to go through. I wanted to write a book to say, young people, here's, here's a book for me, you know, this this might be something that you can identify with, just like they can identify with, with your book. So. Because Radical Readers is not an event, it mm -hmm. is truly an initiative, yeah. so it's a continuous process. Not do these type of records to really like motivate young people you know so it's like like miss richardson said don't look at this as an event yeah I'm, i played food on the wire i've been on some of these kids favorite videos i've been on 106 and park which is a show that they can all identify with so me coming to stress this message and let them know the importance of it that's the, the whole goal that's in mind seeing you where you are right now i think enabled them to realize that you want to know what if i focus on doing the right things in school i can be where you are one day someone from the community coming back being able to do the things that they aspire to want to do that speaks well. Like I said, I've been doing positive records. I don't curse in my music, no profanity whatsoever. And and with these positive records, I said after you know we shot this video, I said I, I gotta I gotta give these kids some. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta continue to give them what they can relate to and what they can understand. You know, so it, it, it was just a perfect platform. You got the radical readers for that video. Yeah. What's y'all next up? Well, the next step is to just continue to, like I said, stress the importance of the Radical Readers Program. And, you you know, when, when I was approached with the program, initially it was saying 30 minutes to 30 days. But when I did the Radical Readers theme song, I wanted to say 30 minutes a day. Because it, it's, it's not, I, I don't want the kids to get 30 minutes and then 30 days yeah. and then they're done reading, yeah. you know, or either done picking up a book or even, you know, doing homework or, or whatever it is that they have to do as far as education is concerned. So the next step is to just continue to let them know, continue to encourage them and to let them know that this is definitely a part of their life. First of all, I want to commend you all as mm -hmm. teachers and administrators for the awesome job you did in managing the students. That we got so many compliments from the film crew saying how very well behaved, how very patient, how very respectful, and how they follow directions excellently. So I want to give a shout out yeah. to the staff administration here at the Jackson Academy. You all did a phenomenal job. Some of them were saying, we've worked in other areas with some other students and they weren't like these students. So <laughs> just know that you all have something very special here that you're doing with your students and it's being noticed. Thank you, MSEA, for bringing back the readers to everyone.